Hi, it's Nell with the blog Joyous Garden, and it's been a while since I planted seeds, but I have been buying basil on the regular, and I'm growing herbs outdoors, so today I'm going to be planting some seeds, show you how to do it, most specifically basil. So I upload videos on a regular basis here on YouTube, do shorts too about gardening indoors and outdoors. So uh, thank you for being here and be sure and come back for more. There are plenty in the archives. We also have a lot on our blog that we don't do here. And by the way, this is my planting assistant and his name is Tazzy. So welcome him to YouTube. So I love to have fresh basil to just take off a leaf or two, or if the plant gets big, I can just chop it back, uh, you know, put it into ice cubes or make it into pesto. And I said, why always buy it? Well, when you can easily grow it from seed. I, I grew up on a farm and we used to do everything from seed, but I, I, I was living in cities and just kind of got away from growing from seed. So gonna get back to it. And what I am planting today is window box mini basil. This is the pesto basil on this side in this six pack here. And this is the window box basil here, which is nice about the, what is nice about the window box basil is it only gets about 10 inches high. So it's great for growing indoors. And the uh, brand of seeds that I'm using is Renee's Gardens. Great seeds. She has a lot of cool things. I've actually met her. I've been to her home. She's been in the business for a long, long time, so I can recommend these seeds. And as you can see, they germinated really fast. So what I used for these seeds was a six pack. As you can see, it's a, I forget what I had in there, but I saved that. But what I'm going to be planting in today is a four inch grow pot. You can also do egg cartons, toilet paper rolls. There are special um, seed, uh, I forget they call it seed a disc. You can plant the seeds into, there's a lot of different things you can plant in or trays if you're gonna be doing a whole bunch of them. But what is really important is to use a very light <laughs> mix because these seeds are small. If you have a larger seed like corn, you can sow directly in the ground, but these seeds are so tiny um, that a nice light mix is what you want because those, and you, you want the roots to easily form and to also uh, the plants to grow in it. And this is a DIY seed blend. It's cocoa peat, uh, vermiculite, pumice, and it's got elamite and ag lime. And no, you don't have to use the elamite and ag lime, but I will put the DIY seed mix below for you, the recipe. And there's other ones you can buy too, so don't worry about that. So I have this filled up to almost the top and I just lightly pressed it because it's very, very light mix. And it's thoroughly wet because this, this mix takes a little bit to wet. So if you do it dry, the seeds could fly or else, you know, you're going to get it. Um, it's going to sink down oh, way too low. So, uh, so that's what I always add. At first, you also want it to be wet so the seeds can germinate. And I'm just going to take a few of these. You can see how small they are. And I'm just going to try to space them out as much as I can. I don't mind a few, a few extra plants in here because you can always thin them out. Like when you buy a plant like this, there's a lot of stems in it. I can't remember if I got that at Sprouts or Whole Foods or, or Trader Joe's, but there's like at least, at least 20 stems in here, so... Um, that, that is what they do too. So just going to take a little bit of the light mix about a quarter of an inch to just lightly cover it. So those seeds can emerge. And that is it for the planting. 
And now I'm going to water it before I put it on a sun, sunny windowsill. I love this tube here. If you blast it again, it's, it's going to go flying all over the place. Just enough to wet it down, get it thoroughly wet. And that is it. I'll also put the link to this. I use it to water succulents in small pots and tight spaces too. I, th I think it was like $5. I use this quite a bit. I got it on Amazon. And that is all you do. And they need light to germinate, direct hot sun, no, but nice bright light. And you don't want them to dry out. You want them to stay evenly moist so those roots can form. So I'm watering these the, the same way. Just keeping it nice and moist on the top. Half inch or so. And then when they start to grow and get bigger, the, then I can use a small, you know, this doesn't put out a huge amount of water, so I can just do that. I'm, I'm, I can actually do that now, too, just to make sure it stays nice and moist. And then I'll put them back in that nice sunny window. I have mine in an east window in my bathroom. This one I'm probably going to put in a uh, northwest window in my kitchen and these will probably come up these will probably come up in a few days too because these did so we'll be swimming in basil soon and let's see how long how many days till germination uh, i mean how many days till sowing oh it doesn't say uh it's usually about i think you can usually start to sow them after about a month or two so that's good so yeah We'll just wait on that. They'll grow now. It's summer fast, and I'm just going to keep on germinating them all year long and growing them. And the nice thing about this is you can just pop them out and then put them into a six-inch pot as they get bigger. We have just posted an uh, article about growing a basil in pots, so this video will go into that, you can check it out on our website or we will leave the link to that down below because it talks about different kinds of basil and um, different, you know, harvesting and storing and blah, blah, blah. So you can find more information in that post right down below in the show more or wherever it is on, on mobile. I think you click the three dots on the top and it'll open up, I think, anyway. There is a post with more information waiting for you. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful. It's really very easy to do. As you can see, you just need a good amount of light to do it. But I have a lot more videos coming your way about gardening indoors and outdoors. As always, I thank you for your likes and your subscribes and for being here. I truly appreciate it have more videos coming down the pike too both long form and short form now let's get into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place i cannot wait to be using all this wonderful basil and be giving some away to my friends so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video very soon bye